by Terry Wade, contributing writer, in 5D.com we have been stuck in a universal time matrix meaning the DNA of the human being has been cut off from the higher frequencies of higher dimensions. Our DNA is now starting to catch up with those higher frequencies. The human race is now realizing that the 97% of the DNA we do not utilize will bring us to a reality that most can't even comprehend, a higher purpose and this awakening of the human race is happening for the first time in our species history. But remember we agreed to do this to ourselves. Related article, Junk DNA and Human Consciousness We are breaking through those restraints that have halted our progress for thousands of years. A soul awakening requires the expansion of our existing beliefs beyond our programmed belief system. I know I sound like a broken record but you have to unlearn everything that you have been taught to be true. We come into this earth plane knowing our universal truth but as we grow up in this programmed holographic society we disconnect from that knowing and we are taught programmed beliefs that are passed down from generation to generation which erase much of that knowing. The foundation of this 3D matrix creates restrictions through those beliefs, the universe has no restrictions. These boundaries and restrictions limit our spiritual growth. Our DNA not only exists biologically but dimensionally as well. The scientists cannot get past DNA being nothing but biological but what they don't understand is it is our galactic signature. It's our individual harmonic resonance and flow with the universe. So, like I've said before if you flow with these frequencies you can see how everything will just fall into place but if you resist the flow you get friction that causes chaos and that chaos can be something as simple as a fight with a spouse or a sibling or that chaos can be planetary. Because everything connects. Makes sense. Winking face if we were to hear the tone, the harmonic resonance of each strand of our DNA we would find out it creates a certain harmonic frequency. That harmonic frequency is our universal identifier. In essence we exist within our individual harmonic resonance. Our DNA frequency is like a transmitter and receiver and is our biological and energetic connector to everything environmental and universal. Healing with sound frequency lies within man's power. Creation was brought on by waves of consciousness via vibrational frequency and the origins of man is a byproduct of this creation. Man is pure energy in wave genetics. The junk DNA functions in infrastructure of super codes and wave communication. Again, everything is vibrational. The human genetics are a larger part of the universal hologram of wave communication. It all connects. Remote sensing, remote healing and telepathy are all part of the human protocol and we will all find this out soon. Our so-called scientists that call our 97% of DNA junk cannot see the extremely important use for it yet. Winking face when we entered the photon belt in 2012 which is an ocean of light of extremely high frequency which we entered at the back end of the age of Aquarius. That 97% of our DNA that our scientists call junk started to spiral up through those two biological strands and are starting to reorganize. Hence, the awakening of the human species. We are transitioning from a two-strand double helix to a 12-strand helix. Advancing man into a leap of evolution. Related article, we passed the procession of the equinox and have entered the photon belt. Our current solar system goes through major universal cycles. I've talked about one quite a bit, procession of the equinox which is a major game changer in our current reality. Everything gets an upgrade with these higher torsion waves whether you're ready for it or not. This leap in human evolution that we're feeling and seeing brought on by these higher frequencies is called ascension. The ascension process happens routinely in our solar system to other planets as they evolve. This is a major reason the Ascended Masters have returned in the human race is being contacted by beings that have already advanced past this evolutionary process they are here to help us ascend. Those who are open and are ready will receive contact by these beings and will be guided during this process for this exact time in our history. Also see, Ascension symptoms are accelerating. 
Those who are awakening on this planet as of now are starting to seek higher answers and processes. We need to clear out all past issues, forgive ourselves, release all negative energy patterns. What it comes down to is you need to open your mindset on a universal level. Basically, we are going through a programmed energetic evolution. Third dimensional humans experience themselves separate from each other and deal with issues of survival. Fourth dimensional humans will be self-aware and will understand the connectedness of oneness to each other. Also see, 30 signs that you are wired differently than normal people. Some people say that a 3D physical body and its DNA will not be supported in a 4D existence. That is not true because we are doing that now. Again, the human being has always been an experiment and this ascension process is the pinnacle of this experiment. Many say this ascension will happen instantaneously, in my opinion, I believe it will happen instantaneously but some cultures say it'll take three days meaning the three days of darkness we've all heard about. My reasoning for saying that is everybody is at a different vibrational level and I believe it all depends on where you're at meaning, it could take a person that is buzzing at a higher frequency to begin with that instantaneous flash and maybe some that aren't will take those three days. See what I mean? When this ascension happens to you you'll wake up one day and the colors will be much more vibrant and brighter and when you, let's say, jump in the air instead of coming right back down it'll take you 30 seconds to float to the surface. Basically, ascension is a process that beings go through when they change densities. Also see, 24 spiritual ascension symptoms I know many of you are feeling these physical symptoms of this DNA change and this will pass once this Christ seed integrates why with your physical and non-physical reality. All these physical and emotional symptoms are you just releasing the past. And to all of you that are bummed out about losing relationships with family, friends etc. As you awaken you are just bound to them by biological karma it's all the process. However, those relationships can be salvaged but only in those new energies without karmic attachments. Related article, how can we change our DNA right now? Just remember when you feel like you're walking between two different worlds or like I've said many times having a foot in two different worlds. What you're feeling is your consciousness transitioning into these new energies and sometimes your physical body lags behind. Basically, it's like your computer and you're going through a reboot and sometimes you just need to shut down for a brief period of time in order to load this new sophisticated software. But, remember you are never alone. Blue Heart Terry Wade Click here for more articles by Terry Wade. See exclusive in 5D videos and add free articles on Patreon for a minimal donation. HTTPS colon slash slash www.patreon.com slash in 5D follow in 5D on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, WG1WGA, Patreon, and on Insta.